All right, we're going to get down and dirty today with a schnitty, a prawn schnitty, not just any schnitty. If you're going to have a, a, a schnitzel, make it a prawn one. I've got some prawns here. I've got some of them whole, which are going to go in, and the rest of them I've just chopped into a couple of centimeter dice. We want that nice and chunky. I like a schnitzel that is meaty, but we do need, I guess, a prawn paste, if you like, like a, almost like a mousse to bind the rest of that chopped prawn together. So that's what's going on here. Some garlic. You know I'm not mad on the garlic, so we don't want too much in there. About half an egg white. Let's get the lid on this guy and give it a blitzy blitz. Well, that cable's short, isn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna get in with a cream now. We're just gonna drizzle it in. Is that a drizzle or more of a pour? I was kidding myself on when I said drizzle, wasn't I? More than enough noise, thank you very much. And we can see we've got a really nice, light, delicate prawn mousse. Fantastic, you could then use that to make a filling for dumplings or loads of other stuff. So it's a nice thing to learn how to do. What we're gonna add into that is some chopped red chili and green chili. More chili for you, Loz, because you love it. And I'm gonna test it. Now this is the point where people go, oh my God, he's eating raw prawn. Yes, I'm eating raw prawn. The delicious fresh prawns, nothing to be scared of. You have to check the seasoning, right? I want some zest in there, because it's a bit boring, frankly. So let's zest it up a little bit. Using the patented Andy Allen technique of microplaning. I miss Andy. I miss Andy too. Where are you, Andy? Andy, please. Okay, let's get our prawn meat in now. Yum. And then we're gonna mix this around. Now, at this stage, you could put this in the fridge and you can make your burgers, burgers? Schnitties. Schnitties, tomorrow. And it'll be easier to do this next part, which is putting the breadcrumbs on them because these are gonna be super fragile when I do this. You watch, you're gonna laugh at me doing this. Really, I should be setting them in the fridge, but no. No. I've got my oil set 180 degrees. That's gonna drop down to about 165 roughly, and I want quite a thick prawn schnitzel. So it takes a little bit longer to cook, which is why the oil you'll notice is about 10 degrees colder than I would normally do. Normally I'm frying it, sort of starting at 190, drops down to 170, gets back up to 180. We're 10 degrees lower this time because they need time to cook. So let's go ahead now and make a bit of a mess, shall we? Does everyone know our panning station? is flour, egg, then breadcrumbs. That's how you do it. Are we ready for this? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm now gonna go into my flour. It's like I've done this before or something. <gasps> it worked, look at that. Get some of the flour, tip it over the edge. And then we're gonna go into our egg. Just make sure there's no dry spots where the flour was. And then it's good to go straight into our breadcrumbs. Tip your breadcrumbs over the top. Hey, how much mess have I made? It's awesome. And then we're gonna go straight in the fryer. So while that guy is doing its thing, we're gonna make a cocktail sauce, otherwise known as a Mary Rose sauce. Mary Rose? Mary Rose. Good quality mayonnaise. A couple of tablespoons. A little squeeze of tomato ketchup. Say two teaspoons. Plenty. I'm gonna get just a little dash of Worcestershire sauce, not too much. I've got some chili sauce, homemade, pretty hot. Sorry about that. Mm. Couple of dashes, love it. Cognac is normally in Mary Rose sauce. I like to use Armagnac because Armagnac has a fuller bodied, delicious flavor, I think. And we'll give that a little mix up. Or grated horseradish. It is not strong at all. So I'm gonna add all of that. It's like a bit of tablespoon. A little zhuzh. Let's try. It's not spicy enough. Don't forget the Tabasco. I'm using the chili instead. Yeah, right. But thank you. 
You got a backseat driver in your family? <laughs> anyway, a little bit more chili sauce because it needs it. And we're just gonna finish it with a little squeeze of lemon. All I'm gonna do is put a pile of this sauce here. I'm gonna set the iceberg on top of it. And then I'm gonna set my no rested prawn schnitzel on the side. Look at that. Prawns perfectly cooked. Mousse looking beautiful. You've got a dip, you've got a salad. How's that for a complete meal? Come on, get after it. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.